This old guy DIY technique has to do with modifying the cap for a master cylinder from a vehicle so we can pressurize the brake system and make a one person bleeding operation reality. So I measured the valve stem. There's my little valve stem. And the diameter there is 0.597 inches. So I'm going to take a half inch drill and drill a hole through the top of this cap. So there's a seal on the inside. So just remove the seal. And again, I'll just drill a half inch hole here. And then I'm going to pull the valve stem through. And then I have a little chuck like they use at service stations. You can get these things at Harbor Freight for about three bucks. And this will automatically lock on to the chuck. I'm sorry, lock onto the valve stem. So then when I go ahead and have this unit in place, the valve stem will stand up. I put this on it, set the regulator on the compressor to 10 or 12 PSI, and that should do the job. To install the valve stem, it's just a matter of putting the valve stem through the hole like that. And then I'll grab it with the pliers and pull it through to seat it. So I just used the pliers, grabbed a hold of the valve stem, pulled it into place. And now the thing is seated. And that's it for assembly. When I reinstalled the gasket, I was surprised at how nicely it sits on there. So now I'll just cut a little hole here. So the back side of that valve will in fact let air into the master cylinder and that should be in good shape. And this is what it looks like with the center cut out of that gasket. So you can see the air will blow through there. I now have the gasket around the outside here. So that'll seal up to the master cylinder cap. And uh, when I go to use this thing, I hope it works out. We'll see you shortly. So this old guy DIY idea has to do with one man bleeding after you've changed the brakes or you want to bleed your brake system for some reason. So I took a cap for the master cylinder from the junkyard and I put a valve stem in from a car and then I set the regulator on the compressor to 10 psi and I'm hanging the line here just so it doesn't have such an abrupt angle when it goes there. And then I've opened the rear line. I'll go ahead and hook the air up to this thing and we'll walk back there and see what's coming out. So this old guy DIY shows the one man bleeding technique. Uh, this fluid is actually pretty clear now. I just have a piece of hose, 3 16 hose that runs down to my little ice cream pail. And if you look at the crap that was in it,